In this video tutorial, you will learn how to do a wiring check with the analog output check tool. With a wiring check, you test whether the Arco control configuration and the controller settings match. Therefore, this test should always be carried out first. The analog output check tool can additionally be used for SCADA checks. With SCADA checks, you verify that the analog values are properly viewed by the control center. The table on the left shows the output voltages and currents. Per default, all output signals are displayed in primary values. This makes it easier to compare the output values with the values shown on the controller. However, you can switch to secondary values if you like. On the right, the signals for the trip and close commands are shown. To carry out an initial test to check if basic trip and close commands are sent by the controller, push the open and close buttons on the controller's front panel. The circuit breaker status is shown in the lower right hand corner. If required, you can manually change the breaker position by clicking on the status field. In the next step, we output different phase voltages and currents to check if the values measured by the controller match the output values of the ARCO test set. The voltages and currents that are displayed in the table are presets based on the load current and the nominal voltage that were defined in the hardware configuration. The preset values are perfectly suitable for the wiring check, so you can start testing right away. Slide down the I.O. key on the right. During the test, you can manually change the output values. Click the table to view all of the options. For example, you can configure the currents to be symmetric or asymmetric, or you can choose to output the load current on a single phase only. Furthermore, you can change the angle of the currents in relation to the voltages, or you can switch the current outputs to off. For the wiring check, Select the option Asymmetric so that the current is different for each phase. This way, you can make sure that the phase connections and ratios of the controller are correct. Similar options are available for the voltages. For example, if the controller is using source and load side voltages, you can choose to output voltages on one side only. To get a better overview of the three-phase system and the relationship between the voltages and currents, you can display a vector diagram. Click the corresponding button beneath the voltages and currents table. If the values are correct, you can stop the test and add the results to your test report. If desired, you can also add additional comments to the report. Then, proceed with the next test.